Shown today in Liberty Edition, this is a 6,065 pound Freedom Express 279 RLDS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a little bit different take on a rear living room couple's camper. Instead of two rear recliners and a TV that's a football field away, We've uh, kind of custom built this one to have a rear theater seat that puts you right next to the entertainment, but it still has a big, open, spacious design, and frankly, a lot of kitchen storage in it, not to mention a knockout bedroom and bathroom. This is an Asdell Ultralight. It's extra tall inside, spread axles for easy towing, very half-ton friendly, extremely strong offering in the Ultralight market. This one offers a pretty fair level of travel access. You notice with the uh, big slide-out closed, it doesn't really ever feel too awful cramped in here. Uh, it's very easy to be able to uh, walk up through to be able to access the majority of your kitchen space. If for some reason you wanted some entertainment on your travel stop, that would not be hard to get to. But what's nice here, one of the big main things you can get to in transit on the 279 Freedom Express at Haylet RV is the refrigerator, would be the sink, uh, you know, the, the main kitchen prep space. If you do need to kind of stop, make yourself a sandwich, take a little break, you can get in here and do that. Um, you will need to bump the slide to get to the bedroom and bathroom, however, so let's get her opened up and see it in destination mode. Now, I've made no secret that uh, Freedom Express as a whole is just kind of a guilty pleasure, personal favorite brand of mine, because as a person that actually goes camping, I look at them and I see the way that these are appointed and I can see that these are designed by people who actually go camping. Not someone who just goes, hey, wouldn't it be a gas if we did this so that we could sell that? Everything in here, it's done with purpose and I think that's really a lot of the difference between them. Now remember, we're looking at a Liberty Edition uh, and there could be different furniture, different decors. Uh, it could be a non-Liberty model maybe you're looking at. Well, this is typically how we have them in stock. This is how we found our clients like to bring them in. So uh, keep in mind, though, there could be a little variance between the video and what we have in stock. I always like to put that caveat out there, kind of like a car commercial. The car commercial is not the one you, or the car in the commercial is not the one you're going to see at the dealership, you know. Okay, so quick note. Optional piece of equipment. These can be upgraded to a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, and if given the choice, that's what we do 10 times out of 10 here at Halet RV to give you that extra cooling power. Now, bunch of real small, easy to miss uh, fine details here. Like you see that glowing backlit accent panel above the TV. That's a neat little sort of uh, evening light switch, and it keys right into the accent lighting below both ends of the dinette here. And what it does during the day is it just helps kind of brighten it up a little bit, makes us feel a little more open and cheery. Normally it would feel opener and cheerier than it does currently, cheerio, but <clears throat> I did need to pull the uh, shades on the majority of the rear wall and side wall windows because the morning sunshine billowing in through them, beautiful as it may be, was making video work very difficult. So keep that in mind. But it's also a nice chance to get to see how well those, like, I mean, when I say blackout shades, I left one open. I mean, you can see how it's just glaring off of that tabletop right there. Those uh, shades do a just amazing job of it. Um, so the TV here can obviously swing out. Remember, I said this is a different kind of more entertainment-focused couple's RV. Um, it's a little shorter uh, than something like a 281 RLDS. And if uh, what you're looking for is those two rear recliners and a super slide with a sofa and dinette, well, we carry that, and that's very popular too. Again, that's called a Freedom Express 281 RLDS. But this is just kind of a little more, I think, modernized. I personally feel smarter version of it, although the 281 does have a lot of good features as well. Um, so Liberty Edition gives us the ability here to not just upgrade trim packages, but also to start putting some really fun furniture in. Normally, <clears throat> in a standard Freedom Express, this would just be a bifold rear sofa. Well, when you go to Liberty Edition, suddenly new opportunities become available, and we like to custom order these with a full theater seat in the back. Uh, we'll see in a little bit how these can lie back for daytime naps, but it gives you that comfort and feel of those uh, daytime recliners, but uh, it's a lot easier because you don't have to turn the recliners to close the slide. Because this could be a fixed sofa, they had to build the slide in front of it. Uh, just kind of one of those smart little fine detail features. Now again, the windows being covered isn't doing us any favors, but all the windows here uh, within the living room and the slide out, they all are going to open for airflow, including the slide side window over here. So this thing is always going to breathe nicely. Now this is a couple's camper, but one of the cool things about this model, a lot of couples campers have a smaller two-bench dinette. Freedom Express is still very good about offering a full U-dinette, 
which can uh, offer additional storage, additional sleeping, um, not to mention the fact that if you just really want to pile people around here, well, you've got more space to do so. And little details like this. I think that's part of the reason this one's proven successful against just a sea of other ultralight travel trailers that are out there nowadays. It's a couple's RV with a nice big feel, great storage that we'll see in a minute, but you can still sleep a guest. And more so, not just a grandkid, but you can sleep adult guests on here. That's like a, what is it, 88 inch long by four foot wide dinette. It might be 44 inches wide, but regardless, that is an adult sleeper. If they know one another, you can probably squeeze two adults on there. Plus, back here, remember there's different seating options available. There's a hide-a-bed available if you do really want to be able to sleep six in here. But if that's your choice, I really think that's where the 281 RLDS works better. I think this is a little more cozy, smart couples camping floor plan. But if you do have a couple littles, or if you do want to sneak a midday nap, you can always kick down those theater seats. And remember, the way that that TV was pivoted out, I have it uh, recessed back right now. But if you do have somebody on the theater seat or on the uh, dinette at night, if you need to get the grandkids' little busy bodies slowed down, you do have the ability to do that. But frankly, I like to watch a little TV when I go to sleep too. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a, I'm a Toys R Us kid. I, I never grew up. <laughs> now, the dining table here is free-floating. An elliptical, uh, or pardon me, it ellipses up and down on an elliptical base, and uh, you can move it around kind of wherever you want. I would say you could use it even as a picnic table, but a Freedom Express already includes an outside picnic table in the pass-through that we'll see when we go outside. So what's kind of cool here, if you want to use it like a little coffee table, or you could lift it up and you could eat straight from the theater seat in the back if that's more comfortable for you, you could do that too. Now, a little kick of storage below the electric space heating fireplace there. And that is a Liberty Edition feature, mind you. The electric fireplace is something you only get in the Liberty series. Plus, there's a handy little cutout shoe garage below that. Um, we'll come back to the entertainment later when I get a better angle on it. But what I want to point out here is something that I've talked about quite a bit on, you know, each brand does something better than something else. Every RV has that one thing, I feel, that makes it the best in a different way. And one thing Coachman, just as a brand, as a whole, is good at is storage. And in a way, my current video segment right now that we're talking about, it looks cluttered because there's just so much storage space. Note these big side stands on both sides of that sofa. They are there for a large, large amount of storage. Um, I mean, just case in point, if you take a look back here, you know, they utilized every inch of that they possibly, possibly could. Even a little remote control holder in the uh, cinema seating armrest in the middle right there, which is actually pretty darn handy. But more so, uh, as we go up, I left, I was able to leave the left window open so you could get the idea that yes, all the seat side windows do open for airflow. But even full storage up top here. Now, they're able to get away with bigger windows and still maintain overhead storage because Freedom Express has a very uncommon quality in the ultralight world. They're extra tall inside, yet they're not heavier. So we'll talk how they accomplish that when we go outside. But for now, these have a six foot nine interior height as opposed to six and a half. And when I say that, I'm actually referencing the sidewalls. Many, most in fact, ultralight RVs nowadays seem to have uh, a three inch shorter sidewall and then they bubble the ceiling. But the hiccup, guys, is that it's actually the sidewall height that determines a effective cabinet space. It determines effective overhead shower space. You can make a tall person friendly shower without the taller uh, interior ceiling we see on a Freedom Express. It's just harder to do. Now, this is another neat thing. And th what's kind of cool is like pressed membrane sealed edge countertops. They're just all over the place in the market nowadays. But Coachman's been doing this for uh, maybe decades, maybe literal decades. They uh, compress the edges of that countertop material there so that water can't sink and penetrate through. But they do that all over. They don't do that in just one location. They do that uh, on the side stands, on your, your dining table here in the bathroom. I would say in the uh, 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 kitchen area, but in a Liberty Edition, we actually upgrade the solid surface that we'll see momentarily. But here's another thing they do very well. They give you easy access to all of the storage below the dinette. So it starts with these big, full extension plywood box drawers right here. That's a Liberty feature. A non-Liberty Freedom Express has doors. It still has access, but they're not drawers. But this is a thing that uh, Coachman does very well right here. They give you these little sliding panels on the back side of the U dinette. And it's the simplest thing. I don't think it really costs them any more money. 
but it means that you can get back here and you can access the back of the dinette storage without having to tear apart the cushions. This is an easier uh, to access U dinette system right here. Now, here's one of the drawers fully extended so that you could get the, uh, you know, the, the, the full Monty, <laughs> as it were. I should put a censored sign on that, but you get the idea. Now, right next to that, but note that it's still contained within the slide out, is just this big, deep bonus storage stand. And this right here is one of those little differences that Freedom Express put in. Because there are other manufacturers that make similar versions of this model. The Freedom Express version of it is longer. Um, it's not necessarily heavier though. But it's because it has a bigger slide with more storage. It has a full private walk around bathroom as opposed to a walk through bathroom. Um, and it has a longer 80 inch queen bed. So it has the bigger RV features and a half ton towable lighter weight product. Now note that extra side stand beside the uh, uh, dinette here, in a way, could kind of function like bonus countertop space or serving space or just decoration space or whatever. The fact is it also makes the RV look and feel larger. Now these windows here, they're not in a position where you can get good cross breeze from them, so they don't open for airflow, but they do uh, have their own privacy shade, so it does give you a nice big look and big feel. Sometimes people ask me, why don't those windows open? Because there's nothing across from them to get breeze from. Now, over here in the kitchen, I, I uh, oh, I didn't talk about this earlier. All of the cabinetry is all pocket screwed, by the way, with hardwood cabinet door frames. Now, this is one of those areas where being taller helps them because they can have taller cabinets. If you want to add a shelf space organizer to it, you can. You don't have to. Um, I like the extra large uh, splash guard that they put behind the stovetop right there. That's really handy. And that kitchen breeze window, just to be able to see out the campsite side real quick is nice. Now, there are some differences here in the kitchen in the Liberty Edition from the standard Freedom Express model. First of all, is the fact that we have all solid surface countertops. And there are power outlets, by the way, under these overhead cabinets, as is pretty common in ultralight production. But solid surface upgrade is uh, in the kitchen is, is part of the Liberty Edition package. You also get upgraded sink hardware with that very residential uh, pull-out sprayer faucet. Now you've got a recessed sink here with a uh, flush mount uh, solid surface cover, but if I get under it, you can see it's just a giant farm sink. Uh, it's also stone cast. It's not plastic. Stone cast is a superior material rated for up to 500 degrees, yet it's very light. Now, this is one of my favorite things, but and they put this in all the Freedom Expresses, and that is the utensil drawer, as I like to call it anyway. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't tried to steal my marketing on that. But the point is, it's the best use of space under the sink you've ever seen, because if you notice, it actually will wrap around that giant one basin uh, stone cast farm sink, and it gives you a purpose-built, easily removable, easily portable utensil organizer. Very, very smart, very cool. Now down below they gave you uh, access to all the little nooks and crannies that they could. Uh, the uh, drawers, again, full plywood box, full ball bearing glides, full extension. Now when you go into Liberty Edition, you will upgrade to a larger 8 cubic foot fridge freezer as compared to the standard 6 cubic foot in the traditional Freedom Express. So you are getting 33% more cold storage. Now we've kind of peeked at the TV just because I had it sticking out. But again, when you're sitting at the rear seating, whether you have it tilted out or not, frankly, it's always pretty darn easy to see. Now, below that on the left, we have the uh, Bluetooth DVD player. Pretty common stuff in the world nowadays. But in that middle pocket, you've got like a phone or device charging station, but it was purposely left large enough if you want to add extra things like Blu-rays or, or anything like that. You do have the ability, like the space to put even like a little satellite system. Now the electric space heating fireplace is a propane free way to add a little bonus heat into your camper. But what's really cool about that is you can actually use it just for LED visuals as well. Now another quick note, no heat vents in the floors of Freedom Expresses. Uh, actually, Coachman Ultralights, even the Apex little sister to these, they don't do that either. So this is always going to be um, easy to clean, easy to sweep out. Uh, it'll keep you comfortable anytime spring, summer, fall. And with the optional weather package that we tend to apply to our Liberty Editions, you can actually extend a little further into spring and fall and stay pretty darn comfortable. We'll talk about that outdoors. And I thought maybe you'd like to take a quick look at the kitchen before uh, I blew, you know, after I blew it all apart and opened all the cabinetry up here. These things do have a very clean look. I like the lighter, brighter, clean interior decor that they have going on here compared to the sort of 
waxy red cherry generation that preceded this, I, I couldn't be happier. I, re I really couldn't be. Neat little thing too, the overhang here, this little, uh, you know, angled countertop overhang. I look at that and I'm like, dude, that's where my that's where my wastebasket's going every time. That's something a lot of people don't think about. Another thing people don't think about is a locking bathroom door. But Freedom Express thinks about it because they value privacy the same way you value privacy. Porcelain foot flush stool, and it looks funny the way it's pointed right now, but that's because it's pointed to give you maximum leg room. And you will notice that you've got plenty of floor space in this thing as well. You also are greeted with a large shower with a corner seating area if that does help you. But remember, with a taller interior height, Freedom Expresses are, tall, are a little more friendly to big people. I'm going to step in here to give you a reference in a second. But they also do include a handy little towel rack over here as well. So that, you know, when you're done drying off, you got a place to, to set that out. Now, for reference... I'm 6'2", 6'3", or something like that. You notice I don't need my head in the bubble. That drives me crazy. That's like one of my number one pet peeves in a trailer. When I wake up in the morning, I don't like to duck. I'm I'm mean. I wake up I'm, I wake up mean. I wake up really rough and grumpy. It takes me a while to be this goofy RV nerd that you guys all seem to appreciate, but that's where caffeine comes into play. God bless you, Mother Nature, for creating caffeine for people like me. So, moving on. Full medicine cabinet. Uh, with big old mirror, and I like the handy little shelf below that. Uh, you're always going to find something to do with a shelf space. Now over here, more of that sealed edge bathroom uh, or, or countertop type stuff, and I like how they leave this wide open right here. So it's nice, big, easy stuff. Lots of extra, you know, toilet paper rolls or whatever. You've got plenty of room for all those things. And that big shower right there, that is something I think a lot of people like. Now there is a sliding. Uh, privacy door here for the master bedroom. And this is another one of those areas where that extra interior height can really be seen and felt. It just, it helps the smaller bedroom here feel not so small. Although it is bigger than it could have been because they did build this with a full 80 inch queen bed. This is a residential queen, not a shorter camp queen. You do have full hanging closets on both sides and I, I a lot of brands have gone to that shiplap uh, front wall accent board and Dang it, if it doesn't look good. Now, you do have dual, uh, bendable, sort of directional reading lights up here. But you notice you've got a handy little blue LED night light in that uh, headboard area. There's also, you can kind of see that white sticker, maybe that little black housing hanging out there. There are uh, a pair of USB plugs in there as well to give you uh, a handy little phone charge station. And it's really cool to have a shelf within arm's reach of you at night. Uh, so that, you know, if you do need to use it as an alarm clock or anything like that, like I do, it's just really handy having a phone close by. I figured I'd lift the mattress because this makes it a little easier to kind of visualize those side stands. They're quite spacious, wide open. You've got outlets on both sides. They're easily accessible. And we've got separated inside and outside storage. you got like a whole storage trunk or chest under the bed here. And it doesn't mingle with your front pass-through. Some people like that. Some people don't. Freedom Express caters to those that don't. Now you've got opposing uh, you know, windows here, and remember in the Freedom Express Liberty Edition, those will still have the roller nightshades. Uh, a couple years ago, they added this extra vent over top up here, uh, just to give you that extra light and airflow. Plus, we do have TV hookups here in the bedroom, if you are so inclined as to add a TV. Now pardon the funny angle here, I wanted to give you at least somewhat of a decent look at it before I stand up and would get blinded by the light that's hiding just behind the apex of that nose cap there. But, more to the point, Freedom Express, as I said inside, it's taller inside, but this is not a heavier trailer. In fact, it's lighter than most. Um, the uh, you know question is, how did they accomplish that? Did they skimp on structure? And the answer is no. What they did is they used better processes and superior materials to keep the weight in check. One of the big things that makes a Freedom Express extra tall, yet not extra heavy, is a material called Asdel right below the fiberglass skin of the sidewalls. It is a wood substitute material. It is lighter weight. The material itself cannot rot, mold, or mildew. It's effectively a moisture barrier. It also does a little bit of sound dampening, and it's a little better in uh, heat exposure situations. And that is one of those things that is just a key, key component of the Freedom Express package. It's not less expensive, however. Um, now, Again, a full Liberty Edition, easily uh, identified by the fact that this has a full nose cap versus a three-quarter cap with a uh, like sort of stone guard below. Now, when we get up front here, there's a couple other things I want to point out to you. 
Uh, first, it's not a Liberty feature, but it is a newer addition to the Freedom Expresses uh, in terms of, you know, relative history. And that is that they now have a battery disconnect switch. And it's located right by the battery. <laughs> Isn't that smart? It's always in the same spot, so it's easy to get to. Now up front here, pardon my battery box, but you can see the battery rail here. It is set up for two batteries if you are so inclined. But you might also notice how we have a tongue-mounted spare tire. Why are they doing that? Well, it helps with load equalization. A little bit of weight in front of the axles tows better than weight all the way behind the axles. Also, keeps a little bit organically shielded from the sun and weather. And additionally, it leaves the rear bumper open for people who do choose to add things like bike racks to the bumpers. Uh, the tongue jack here looks a little bit funny. That's because in a Liberty Edition, we have a full power stabilization system. And what's kind of cool here is what looks like just your tongue jack is actually a very well hidden, very intelligently placed uh, uh, control panel for all that. So you can control all your jacks right from here. You never have to bend over, never have to take a knee, never have to do anything like that. Just simple and easy. Now I mentioned the uh, sort of like extra weather package that we like to put on our Liberty Edition Freedom Expresses. It's very simple. It's also very uh, effective. What they do is they take a layer of uh, heat uh, reflecting effectively material and they layered in the rear wall the roof and the nose so your your top sun exposure areas are given an extra level of protection and uh, reflection effectively and what that's helping us do here is especially in those really hot climates the single 15 like you're not going to need to put a dual air on this because one it has a white roof skin that will reflect more sunlight then we tend to put the heat reflection package below that to keep the sunlight off of it. You notice it had a white nose as well. Freedom Expresses did not used to have a white nose. They had a cream colored nose just like the sidewalls here. But what they found is that the, the air gap between the front in the bedroom wall panel and the actual nose was like 20 degrees hotter. They put one of those little heat sensing lasers on it and they found that when they just went to a white skin nose, they dramatically lowered the heat in the bedroom so that you can sleep better at night in those hotter camping situations. Now, uh, all the windows will open for airflow. They're all tinted to keep the sun out and to keep the furniture from fading. And then again, intelligent features like this. I look at this and I say, the people that design this are people who actually go camping. You may have noticed inside that the driver's side sofa side stand did not have full depth storage. That's because this uh, it was part of that was utilized to offer a intelligently located centralized hookup station because it makes more sense to have your hookups back here in this rear corner where most parks tend to have their hookups. Now, uh, another piece of optional equipment here we like to put on all of our Freedom Expresses is that roof ladder. That's a non-standard item, and it gives you easier, safer access to your fully walkable roof here that you will find in a Freedom Express model. Uh, the uh, little thing right below the tail marker lights above the decal, that's your backup camera prep. We can offer those uh, to you at the exact same cost that the factory would offer them here at Halet RV. That's one of the nice things about those is their pricing is hyper, hyper standardized. So if you're looking for just a simple, inexpensive backup only camera, or if you are looking for a full in motion rear view camera to keep an eye on those darn pesky tailgaters, uh, well, you know, we can, we can help you out either way here at Halet RV. One of the things that's nice on this one also is actually not having a slide on the door side. It's saving us a lot of weight, a lot of money, and a lot of hassle from lost awning space. Now, I don't mind a little kitchen slide under an awning. I've demonstrated in videos how that'll still leave you plenty of room here. But with no slides on the door side, you maintain full access to the, I think this is a 19 foot awning if memory serves correctly. For some reason that number is jumping out at me. But it's closer to 20 feet than 15. I know that uh, without question. Um, now. A couple things to talk about over here. Obviously, easy push button power awning like most things are nowadays. Uh, the gas strut over here is an auto rain dump feature. If it is gonna kind of rain a little bit, if it does start to pool up on the awning, if the awning's a little flat, it'll help uh, you know spill that off. Although this one has a pretty good angle on it. Part of the reason this awning always has a good angle on it is because of that interior height being a little taller. But you also do have a manual tilt and lock arm and you can see full length LED lighting under that as well. Now. The uh, larger entry handle is something that you're going to find on these Freedom Expresses for easy coming and going. And on that note, 
that's why I'm really glad here in the Liberty Editions as compared to the base Freedom Express. And remember this RV is available both ways. This is a Liberty feature right here, the LCI Stable Steps. So these fold down, they have adjustable foot pegs. One of the things I like about this system right here is that taller top plank. Um, it gives you just more space for your feet. If you happen to drop something up top, it doesn't tend to fall through anywhere because it's kind of blocked and shielded off. Uh, the other thing is, it's wide enough, deep enough, kind of just be like a seat. Now to the right here, we do have outside TV hookups next to these wide stance stability axles, the spread axle design in here. These are set, I think, about an extra 14 inches apart from one another. And what that gives us is greater stability in transit. And the people that deliver these, they actually comment on it. Professional delivery drivers have confirmed that yes, in fact, this does work very well. So the idea here <clears throat> is when you spread the axles, you make it so that the trailer is less inclined to go like this, and it's less inclined to bounce. So less porpoising, less swaying. It's not a replacement for a proper hitching system, it's a supplement too. So this thing, that's another one of those things that makes this very, very comfortably half ton towable. Now over here, this is just a little what I call why not pocket. If you look at it, it's not the biggest, deepest, greatest storage pocket in the world, but it's here. It's not wasted. And I can think of a lot of little things to do with that right here next to that portable picnic table that's included with the Freedom Express that we'll get to see in just a minute. You know, whether it's going to be uh, like little citronella candles, bug spray, maybe just the, the little stuff you use like your um, uh, picnic table covering. Perfect little spot for that. And even this little door still gets a nice, easy one-hand magnet latch. I like little features like that. Now over here, next to that front storage compartment, we've got a portable solar hookup point, which is very handy, considering you've got a very large storage compartment that can actually hold those panels if need be. Up front here, magnet holdbacks, and Liberty Edition is going to bump us up to the full metallic slam latches uh, in addition to those magnet catches. And you might notice how these all have um, protected hinges on the uh, outside compartment doors. It's a really, really nice feature so that water doesn't get on that hinge, freeze, and then s uh, when water freezes, it expands, right? So you don't want it to spring the hinge. Now down here, very large storage compartment. And this is a thing that Freedom Express really kind of helped put on the map for ultralights. Um, Mr. Jody over here doing some quality control for us. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Cheesing it up a little bit. Um, up front, we've got a full-length LED light strip. And that seems like kind of a ho-hum feature until you actually go camping. And once again, it's another feature that you're looking at it going, why does that matter? But if you actually go camping, you know... Well, you need to get in that side of the baggage compartment too, just like Mr. Jody just did to get in there and look around to make sure everything was okay doing our uh, surface level inspections. Well, um, you don't want just a light over here. And frankly, there's a lot of campers that don't give you any lights in the pass-through. That's not the case here. Now, this is another area to get to see that uh, aluminum structure going all over the place. And it is double-sided welded, uh, even on vertical welds where some brands will say they don't need to. Now, right here, this picnic table, it is uh, two foot by four foot. It is included. They started doing that as part of their 50th anniversary package, and it became so popular. They said, yep, we're just going to keep on doing that uh, for, until death do us part, essentially. And it's kind of funny because uh, it wasn't shortly after that when uh, the uh, Jayco Whitehawk series saw how popular that table was. They started offering it as an option, too. So a lot of good things to look at here. Um, let's go ahead and just take a trip upstairs just to kind of complete the tour. And a couple quick things to point out up here. First of all, it's just the fact that it does have a fully walkable roof, which is something I can't say about all lightweight travel trailers. Secondly, they're very good about being uh, very uh, proficient and detail-oriented with all the ceiling they use. And this is their uh, new WineGuard 360 antenna system. Basically, what's cool about this is it's non-directional, so you don't have to crank up the antenna, you don't have to do a scan on your channel search, you don't have to wait 10 minutes, and then, uh, you know, see if you get channels and then scan again and then scan again until you finally give up and just, you know, put in a DVD or go outside. So just a quick little note up here. You know, we've got a whole sea of inventory here, guys. Every one of these things offers a different set of best-in-class features. They're all the best in a different way. Even the RVs we don't carry. I try to be really fair about stuff like that here at Haywood RV. But in this class and category, in a full-size ultralight class, Freedom Express is by far and away our single most successful offering. I think it's just because they have a really good set of qualities, not matched by any other manufacturer, 
but they're things that you can't always see, obviously. Once you dig below the skin a little bit, you see this is a really strong offering. It has grown tremendously in the marketplace in the last couple of years. And uh, I don't know, maybe us helping share some of the story of that is part of the reason why. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything in between, we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. And remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees at Halet RV. We leave that to the big box stores.